welcome to Raging Against the Dice, Shadow Wars Armageddon. This is a second look at the orcs as to where they are now. This is just using orcs um, that comes in a normal orc starter set um, and then an extra box of them. So this is 20 orcs in play. The orc knobs haven't arrived yet. Games Workshop mail ordering and whatnot. What we've done is we've split them into heavily converted close combat guys and then we've got your shooter and big shooter guys when we decide to split these up we're going to split them into two crews and we're going to paint them as two separate crews or two separate kill teams with a mixture of both depending on um how we're going to paint them up i know we are going to do one of them bad moons so they're certainly going to have more shooting and i think the other ones are going to be goths or snake bites meaning that they're going to be much more close combat based we are going to spruce these up by adding a few other models from the range um even just from these ones here, we've got a few set different heads that have come from the biker set and that have come from the truck set. Um, great thing about orcs is they are really, really customizable. Last time you saw them, we just made a few up. Um, they were sitting ready to be undercoated. Now they've been undercoated and they've had a base coat um, with the airbrush. So they're at least green, as you can see here, meaning that I'd have push you could play with them as they are we don't particularly like to play with unpainted models where we can um but certainly as things stand you know they are able to be fielded on a table and the camera would pick them up a lot better than they were when they were gray um the rules have been released now as you well know we covered that in the chaos video um and we will be doing a rundown of the rule book different factions and things like that for now we are just having a quick look at the models getting people excited for what you can do as i said this is just the basic orcs from the starter set and a separate box of boys which i had lying in my wardrobe um the, the massive hobby wardrobe um of endless sprues mixed with a few other little bits just from a few of the other orc sprues but it's just showing what you can do i mean the amount of boys there um looks fairly impressive and, of course, with that set, you do have the ability to build an orc knob anyway, or um, two in this case, because we've got two sets worth. The reason I didn't is because I really, really love the orc knob models. There you get the set of five. Um, and so I, did, I decided I wanted to make my own from that. But we've got here the Spanner Boy, which is like the specialist weapon, and he's armed with a big shooter. Um, you can make a Spanner Boy that's also aimed with the rocket. Or the rocket launcher, which um, comes in one of those sets as well. I just, I didn't particularly want to use it. I love the big shooter. Um, it fits in with sort of how I want the bad moons to play. Um, again, these guys are all customised. So you can see there, there's some of the, that's like the combi shooter or combi slugger. Um, or combi shooter and like the big axe that comes with the orc knob. Um, there's a converted up power claw that we've then converted into a shooter or you know double sluggers however we want to field it for the purposes of that's one things that are good with orcs you can kit bash things together um with orc guns not really meant to fire anyway i mean there's that cool story in the orc book from i think it was fifth edition um could be even going way back further than that i'd have to check my source material but where you know, a space marine picks up an orc gun and they go to fire it and it won't fire. Um, and then that, an orc manages to grab it off and shoot him with it. Um, I'm probably quoting that completely wrong. It could be like a guardsman or something. But the point is, orc guns only work because orcs want them to. So if you want to bash together a couple of guns, a bit of green stuff to make them look like they've been welded together, then that's absolutely fine. It's in keeping with Shadow War Armageddon. It's in keeping with the sort of the lore of the orcs. Um, I don't want to talk too much on it today um purely because you know my copy hasn't arrived to be able to show you the stats and stuff from the rule book um i've already got the models because that was from someone else's set where we've done a swap and they're getting the space marines and it's purely just because from where i ordered mine from and because we did we wanted to get this video recorded as quickly as possible um while the hype for shadow war armageddon is still up and running um Hopefully you guys will stick with us and you'll be able to see as we cover the rules and then we start to cover games and um, putting together terrain because that looks fantastic. Being able to botch together a load of different terrain 
um, not just using the set that comes with it. I know there's a load of stuff online. There's a load of laser cut. Um, there's a load of people printing out like plastic hard stuff to make walkways, gangways, things like that to make bulkheads, picking them up in large numbers from eBay, from the old Necromunda sets. Um, so I'm looking forward to see what we create and to see what you guys create. So as always, I'll sign off and let you guys go and do something probably much better than listening to me waffle on about orcs. Uh, so pray to the dice gods. I hope they smile upon you. Thank you very much for your time today, guys. Thank you.